Hello again. We are walking down the road towards the village today because we have something else to show you. A little farm has come onto the market. It's a little bit closer to the village than we are. And we're going to show you a look around it. Hope you like it. It's very different to the things or the property we already showed to you, but um, it has some charm. It is really tiny, only, what did you say, 2,000 square meters? Yeah, like a quarter of a hectare, something yeah. like that. It has some advantages, it has some disadvantages. Yeah. One of which will be a deal breaker for some of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're already anticipating the comments. Anyway, we wanted to show it to you because I also have a kind of person in mind that uh, would like this farm. A bit of an eccentric weirdo, that's what she means. Mm. Let's see. We will be as always honest about the pros and cons of the place and mention everything. That's the owner. We're following him. So this is the road. You see it's very good, easy road to reach with any sort of car, really. Okay, so this is the entrance to the farm and this is the thing of horror for some of you. Yes, it's a big electricity pylon. So if you are or think you are electrosensitive in any way, you probably don't want to watch the rest of this video. However, if it doesn't bother you, let's go. Hola, what's up? Hola. Hey. Si, si. Hey. Si. So to the left is the house, the houses, I have to say. Buildings, wells and the land but let's start with the house yeah little storeroom here probably have a look later on to an upper level which is terraced a couple of fruit trees there's an orange tree there Jump to the little house, which is right here. <laughs> Come on in. Very nice concrete floor. Can you see? Not too dark. No, it's good. Uh, and a very interesting ceiling construction. Concrete beams and blocks. And uh, above that is some insulation. And then above that is tiles, which we'll be able to show you from outside, of course. And also, there is actually a chimney in place, so a nice place for a wood burning stove in there. Very small window, but because these are block walls, it would be very easy to cut out a bigger hole and make a bigger window. It would also be very easy somewhere here to cut out an entrance into the uh, second building through there. Yeah, you can see here what it is made of. It's this. Um red building blocks you see so it's really easy to cut through with a disc cutter how many square meters will this room have 20 think. Like good door we have a, a water reservoir here it's pumped up from uh, down by the well Clean this out, you make yourself a little summer dipping pool <laughs> to cool in. Okay, so that first room that we were just looking at ends here. Yeah, and then we come into another room which was... Um, mm, Stables. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, again, good solid concrete floor. So we could easily take these out and say that's where you would, that's where we were saying you could cut through the, um, cut through the wall to make a doorway. That's quite a good size room. This is what, well, 
three, three and a half meters across, and it must be eight meters long, something like that. And she comes all the way to here, all the way back here, hello, and the third little section here. I think they used to keep chickens in here. The uh, pig, you said. Chickens, pig. Yeah. yeah. A pork, see? Yeah. 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 Galinas, chicken. Peru. Aha, I see. <laughs> yeah, classic uh, animal shelter thing. This area here has uh, has an old um, so as, asbestos concrete roofing. Um, this stuff is okay. It's perfectly safe as long as you don't start disturbing it and cutting into it. Um, to be completely safe, obviously, you want to replace it. That will be up to you. The other side, as I was saying, has good tiling <coughs> on the top. So this is the first, again, the first room that we went into. And there we have the, the block and beam insulation and then tiles, all in very good condition. Mm -hmm. And it's also insulated, fully insulated. I said that. Mine, you did twice. not. You did not say I've that. I said that twice now. <sighs> Going down to the garden. First off, there is um, another water storage here. It's actually a well here. It's uh, cis, cis, what, or sink or uh, It's sink or Yeah, sink So this this water here is approximately six Which meters is. deep. Yeah, and it goes, yeah. it will be bigger down, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so okay. it opens out down there. Yeah. Nice. So because the farm is a bit lower, also quite a bit lower than ours, at least you have a lot of water here. It's definitely pro. And old vines. E para comer or para vinho? Isto é para comer. Come, yes. Também dá para, para fazer vinho, vá, mas, yeah, é, mas, for, mas são tudo de uh -huh. grande. These are the big grapes for eating. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. Uh -huh. Também para comer, sim? Sim, so, sim. Okay. Big uh -huh. olives for eating, uh -huh. these are. You need to let me speak. Oh, uh, 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 Beautiful old olive tree is uh, is giving eating olives. I love the way the stones are kind of part of the tree here. <laughs> Beautiful. Come down here. We have a well. This one's about seven meters deep, and it has a little overflow running from from that first one we showed you. There you can see. <laughs> oh, some nice vines around the well too. E todo sound é grande para Okay. Okay. And this is a fig. Figos. Figos, see. The end of the land comes actually here along this line of uh, uh, of fence posts, but just along this way. Along this wall, if you turn around, you can see the other gate just there. And uh, there is actually a right of way for um, the owners of that piece of land to, to walk through so that they can look after their bit. Um, but they come very, very rarely. Uh, if they want to bring a tractor, for instance, they have to ask permission, but they hardly ever do that. It's usually just a few times a year and they'll just walk through and have a look at the land. So it's very not intrusive, but uh, you might get a visitor occasionally. All the vines you see growing along here are the large grapes for eating, very good eating. Is it pera or masa? It's a pera. Pera. Sí. Rocha. In this corner of the property, there's another well. And this one's about six meters deep as well. Eight, he said. 
six or eight meters deep. Anyway, there's <laughs> lots of water on this little farm. Two meters. Eight. Eight. Yes, eight meters. And a pump. And here you have a pump. Uh, benzene. Gaz gasoline. Gasoline, yeah, a petrol pump. A petrol water mm -hmm. pump to take it out of here. Okay. And then you can see the pipe yeah. running all the way up. Uh, goes to that little reservoir and all the way up to the house as well. That we have seen, yeah. Okay. I think this is a place that can be beautified a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it works. Unusually, what we find on this farm is a lot of young trees have been recently planted. There's a few out there in the middle, all the way along here. For instance, this is a quince, but there's all sorts of other young mm -hmm. fruit trees on here, which is great. That's the Chepesque. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Peach, I think, yeah. Peach. Another olive tree with eat, eating olives. Do you say that? Eating olives? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Table olives? Yeah. Ah. Uh, there you go. Oh, clock. A frog? I think it was a little frog here. Yeah, just, uh, he was mm -hmm. there yesterday. Yeah. So there are actually five water reservoirs, if you like, on this farm. Two actual wells and uh, a sort of spring thing there and then two containers. Lots of water for such a little farm. Mm. And this land, I don't know if I understood it correctly, but this is the neighbor who is never here. It's full of vines and, yeah, yes. maybe. But look, there is actually a stone aqueduct. What an amazing thing. I'm wondering if maybe it's possible to buy this land additionally one day. That would be great. Now you can see the terrace a bit more clearly from this side. See how it's raised up with a house up on the hill, looking down across the uh, the field what is going to be in a couple of years time a beautiful orchard of fruit trees there's one right there which is in amazing bloom right now and then we can see all the little all the little young ones that have been planted obviously over the last couple of years i would say we get found of trees we have seen mm -hmm. the queens yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. nice pairs yeah. this one Sasarejo. Sasarejo. Ah, Sasarejo. 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 Stone lane, pavia lane, however you would like it. The little shed. The little shed is open now. Look at that, it's full of fencing. Not that you really need it here because you, know, <laughs> you have a good wall all around the property. But there you go. So as far as we see it, there are three drawbacks to the place. Firstly, the electricity pylon, which may be a big <clears throat> or it may not. Secondly, there's that um, right of way for the owner of the land at the back. He can come through, although it is only going to be very rare. What was the third one? The third drawback might be that the house isn't uh, a stone built house. If that's the sort of look you're looking for, you're not going to find it here. However, on the plus side, it is very solid and well constructed with nicely presented concrete floors already in and the first part of the house has a very good roof to it as well. Another pro, as you've seen, lots and lots of water available on the farm and unusually lots of young trees planted recently. But also of course you've got these beautiful older trees already here as well so you've got a mix of young and old. Kind of perfect really. Also another pro, we're very close to the village. From our farm, it's about 10 minutes walk. From here, it would be about three minutes walk into the uh, middle of the village where the post office is. So you can even see how close the village is there. Um, it's close, but it's not too close to be intrusive, I think. And at night, you might get a nice little vista of house lights. 
And as it happens, we've just found out that we know the owner of this piece of land and actually the piece of land next door that side as well. So there could be a possibility of actually purchasing this or that or possibly both at the same time or just after you uh, settle in here and you decide you want a bit more land. Okay, the big question you're asking yourselves is how much is this going to cost you? Well, the owner is asking for 30,000 euro. All things are negotiable, so I'm not saying that he wouldn't move from that, but that would be his starting asking price. The land area is 2,000 square meters, about a quarter of a hectare, roughly. You thought it was just a low wall, didn't you? But look, the road is all the way down there. And this is the way to town. Back on the farm now, and we were just thinking about the legalities of the situation. The owner told us that it would be perfectly fine to live there, although it's registered as agricultural land. Of course, we can't actually confirm or deny that. And if you were interested in living there, you would need to get this checked out properly by a local lawyer. If it turns out that it wouldn't actually be legal to live there, you can get the land, the house, changed to a habitation license. But again, how long that would take and how much it would cost, we can't be sure. And anyway, it would probably be different for every situation. So again, that's where the lawyer comes into play. If you do need the contact of a lawyer, we can put you in touch with a good local lawyer.